Welcome back to day two of the Vision Show 2014. And if you were lucky enough to be with us last night, I hope you enjoyed the carnival. I know I did. But don't go anywhere because we've got loads coming up after the break. Welcome back. I'm here at JAI talking to Thomas Moore. So Thomas, you're one of the few companies that bridge a lot of different industries, but what have you got here that's specifically relevant to the traffic sector? Well, JAI have existed since 1963, and we're spread on many different segments of the industry, and for the last 20 years, we have been dealing with traffic applications. And for this specific purpose, we have one of our fourth generation of ITS cameras, which uh, includes a uh, sandwich construction housing, including moisture management system, anti-dirt shield, and it's actually a five megapixel camera running at uh, 75 frames per second. And we have advanced light uh, control uh, algorithms and video triggering inside. We have on-axis illumination, but also offer uh, external illumination for people who want to actually identify the vehicle at night time. So where do you see this growing in the next couple of years within this sector? We originally uh, developed this system in the US for the open road tulling industry and uh, we see that also in Europe uh, growth of uh, truck enforcement, speed enforcement systems and other sectors where you actually need high performance camera systems and we expect a growth in, in Europe uh, for, for this type of applications for a minimum 7% this year. Well, thanks very much, Thomas. Oh, have one of our bags. Oh, thanks very much. I'm just going to go to my next interview. See what I did there. I'm at AIT, the Austrian Institute of Technology, and I'm here talking to Christian Zinner. So Christian, I hear that you've got some exciting new technology. Tell me all about it. We are showing here a new technology that we developed together with our industry partner Bombardier. It is a, an advanced driver assistance system for light rail vehicles, trams. And the system is intended to observe the forefront of the vehicle for potential obstacles. And if it identifies a collision risk, then uh, the driver gets a warning. Uh, and so we, we try to make traffic more safe. So how do you see this fitting into the future of the traffic industry? What we see is that such assistance systems will, be more, will become more and more common, also in, in trams and in, in uh, public traffic. Uh, and a, f a future extension of this system will be that it is not o it, w it will be not only warning the driver, but it will be uh, influence the vehicle directly to shorten the the uh, reaction times, for instance, and to avoid more accidents. On the active silicone stand is a range of frame grabbers, applicable to the traffic industry and capable of data acquisition from high-end cameras using the Coex Press system. The embedded frame grabber can handle stream data from six or more cameras and process the information to run on a single PC. For enforcement applications, Matrix Vision is exploiting the full dynamic range of Sony's IMX174 CMOS sensor to simultaneously capture number plate details, contextualize images and visual evidence of the driver. The gain on the darker parts of the image is up to 12 dB without troublesome noise degradation. Teledyne Dalsa with Manny Romero. So Manny, traffic is a big focus of this year's show, so are you hearing and seeing this a lot on your stand? Indeed, it's it's been a completely crazy day for me yesterday. I had a complete day booked with meeting with different customers from the traffic industry. Fantastic. Now, your little genie cameras, tell me how they work, because they work across a lot of different industries, don't they? Actually, they do. It's a, it is a perfect camera for the machine vision market. It was years of you know discussion and understanding the requirement of the market and how flexible they need the product to be, uh, both from the internal of the camera, the sensor, 
uh, the speed, the resolution, and uh, not not to minimize also the uh, temperature range that the camera need to support for the obviously uh, uh, different part of the world where you could get certain area that's very cold and other very warm. So you gotta have a robust product that cover all that. Well, we can clearly see that the traffic vision campaign is having a real effect and doing very well. After a long day of walking around this massive convention hall, I'm a tad warm, as you can see. But don't let things cool down because they'll be hotting up for our last day tomorrow. Don't miss it.